in this video we are going to talk about how to install the SAP GUI on a Windows machine the specific version of GUI we are going to talk about is uh, version 7.2 so this is SAP uh, version 7.2 Okay. Now you download that mesh, that version of the software and then unzip it to whatever folder you like. And then you go inside. This is the first level of folder. Go inside again and go into press 1 folder and then go into the GUI folder. And then go into Windows folder, Win32 and click on setup all okay you can view the path here it's this is where you have unzipped the file and then you went to the following folder structure okay so once you go there click on setup all and then it's a very simple wizard based okay. setup just okay. click on next select the first option just select the first option if you're using SD or MM or above modules if you want to practice on BW or any other advanced MySAP modules you might have to select other options but for now the first one is good enough so make sure you have enough space and then click on next next and then it will take uh, a couple of minutes before it installs uh, the GUI and once it's done you just have to click on finish It won't take long as you're seeing you know it's pretty fast um, I'm, I'm sure it takes less than a minute or a minute and a half so let's wait it out all right and here we are done so close it go to your start menu click on programs and click on sap front end and then click on the log on so your log on pad will open which is the same as this log on pad uh, window that sap already creates on your desktop now in the connections section just click on the new icon this is the new icon okay just in case this is the new icon and then make sure you have selected the connections section okay now click on next and there are three things that are really important in order for you to set up a connection the first one being the application server so you will be given access to uh, an application server say something some four digit numbers like hundred dot something dot something dot something and then there will be an instance number and then there will be a system id which is a two digit number and that's all you have to enter these details will be given to you by your you know sap hosting provider take that info and the first field over here is just a description so it just says okay uh, SAP or you give whatever name you like and you can give your name or whatever application server instance number system ID for example system ID could be something like a zero zero and so instance not sorry instance number could be something like zero zero system ID is a generally a three character ID like you know C11 C12 or VAN and the application server will be something like you know 100 dot 121 dot, um, dot whatever will be that number that has been given to you okay May, don't put in this number put in some number that has been given to you by your you know hosting provider all right and then click on next click finish you're done okay so here we have um the 
connection setup now in order to actually connect to that system just select it and then click on log on if the details that you have entered are incorrect then the system will say that it's not able to connect to um, the SAP server in this case it will not be able to because you know we know that this is a wrong number right so make sure you enter the right number if you want to edit the connection again just select the connection and click on the edit button and you can go here and then put in the right application server the right instance number right system id and then click ok okay um, now we have put in the correct details so select that and then click on log on uh, you'll see the logon screen make sure that your client you're logging on to is 800 because this is the test client with tons of data use your ID that's been given to you and then the password and then click enter and that's it you're on okay over here there are a couple of configuration um, or presets that you have to do um, this is a 7.2 system so I'm going to talk about in a 7.2 version of the GUI uh, the steps in the 7.1 version or any version before that are slightly different okay but the intent uh, is what I'm trying to get at here now the first thing that you have to do is click on this colored button and then click on options uh, go to interaction design and then click on visualization and interaction select this and select this and click apply click OK okay you have to select and click these two check marks under visualization and interaction of the interaction design section and then click OK this is the first thing that you have to do the second thing is go to extras and settings make sure you select display technical names okay those should be your basic presets um, if you want to just go here and set this to transaction that would be awesome because if you execute a transaction let's say creation of a sales order right you'll have the transaction listed here so you know that you are working on a particular transaction all right So that's setting up uh, and installing and configuring the GUI, including the presets. Thank you very much.